Peanut butter. There's definitely peanut butter in it. It's new. This is so fun. This is a science, yo. How could this not taste good? <laughs> I don't think these taste very good. Wow, this went badly. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. Today, I am going to be starting the beginning of a little series that I've had in the back of my head for a while. And the idea is that I'm going to take unhealthy, common junk foods, and I'm gonna try to healthify them a bit. And then at the end of each of these videos, I'm going to have somebody in my life do a blind taste test of the original unhealthy junk food versus my healthy version and see if they can tell a difference. So to start off this little series that I've been really excited to do, I am going to be making peanut butter cups. I have all of my ingredients all nice and laid out. So we're going to make them. I found one recipe that I thought was interesting. There's a bunch of them, obviously, but this one seemed the most comparable, I think, to an actual, say, Reese's peanut butter cup. So we're gonna make them, and then a little bit later, I'm going to go hang out with some friends, and they have agreed to do a blind taste test. So we will see how that turns out. Let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out attempting to make the peanut butter part of this because I feel like once I get the chocolate going, it's gonna go pretty quick from there. Seems like it's gonna be super easy. So first thing, I need a third of a cup of peanut butter. Is that not the most satisfying thing? Oh. <laughs> it's the little things. It also said you could do this with almond butter. I'm sure you could do this with any kind of nut butter you wanted to. It's so sticky. I feel like in my adult life, I've grown to like peanut butter so much. I've never not liked it, but like it's a borderline addiction for me at this point. So that's one reason that I chose to do this for the first making healthy. So next is a teaspoon of maple syrup plus more to taste. I might end up doing a little bit more because I want these to be pretty sweet just because I'm trying to actually make it be difficult to tell the difference between a Reese's and mine. And then a teaspoon of coconut flour. At first, I thought coconut flour sounded kind of weird, but then if you think about like the consistency of the peanut butter part of a Reese's, it does have that kind of grainy, mealy kind of texture, so I think this will help it not like just ooze out, ooze out when you bite into the chocolate. I think I might add just a skosh more of the coconut flour, just because in the video, the peanut butter looks like it's not really sticky anymore. There we go. That's what it needed. How cool would it be if this turns out incredible? Because then I can just have peanut butter cups like whenever I want. And if that's not the kind of world you want to live in, then like, what kind of person are you? Unless you're allergic to peanuts, then like, that's very justified. <laughs> I might let this sit in the fridge for a second while I make the chocolate part. Peanut butter cup, peanut butter cup. Mmm. This is expensive peanut butter. I can't let any of it go to waste. Almost all of the recipes that I looked up for peanut butter cups just had you melt dark chocolate or milk chocolate in the microwave and just put it in there and some of them had you mix it with coconut oil but I think this one is intriguing to me because if you were to melt down chocolate and then re-harden it, it would be super crunchy and then, you know, a Reese's is really soft. So this one seems like it might come out a little bit more like that. It's just um, cocoa powder, so it's still chocolate. Um, and less sugar actually, and coconut oil, and a couple other ingredients. I forgot to mention that this, this recipe that I'm following is vegan, gluten-free, and refined sugar-free. The only sugar is the maple syrup, and I guess there's probably a little bit of sugar in my peanut butter. Compared to the amount of sugar that comes in most of, you know, produced peanut butter cups, I think this will be better. Okay, so it's a fourth of a cup of coconut oil. It says melted and then cooled to room temp, but here's the thing, this is room temp. Does this look melted to you? Because it's not, because I live at elevation, but I'm gonna have to just make sure it's not like boiling or something. I have a feeling with the coconut sugar and the coconut oil that these might end up tasting kind of coconutty. I guess we'll see, I kind of hope not, just because, like I said, I want my friends to actually have a hard time telling the difference, but at the same time, I've never actually made these before, so that's just maybe wishful thinking. 
We'll see. Either way, I'm sure they'll turn out good. So there's some melted coconut oil. Not room temp, but it's not hot. It's, it's pretty much room temp. So then it asks for a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. That's a lot. We'll call that good. One and a half tablespoons of maple syrup because cocoa powder on its own is extremely unsweet. Is that it? I think that might have been it for the chocolate part. Oh, a pinch of salt. I feel like peanut butter cups always remind me of Halloween because I never really had them any other time, but they were definitely one of my, I would say they were in top three or four favorite Halloween chocolates. So I have my little muffin tin here. I don't know if it'll make six. I have another one if it makes more. So I'm just gonna dump a little bit because again, I don't want these to be too thick in the bottom of each of these just to coat the bottom. In the video, she kind of like clears a little spot in the middle for the peanut butter, but this is way too liquidy. All right. So I think that should still make for a pretty thin bottom layer. I'm just gonna throw it in the fridge real quick. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to make little pucks out of this peanut butter. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It really does, it doesn't stick at all. Just like little peanut butter putty. That's so cool. I need it to be pretty thin because I don't want it to go all the way to the edge of the peanut butter cup because if you think about a Reese's the edge is completely covered in chocolate, so it's not like you can see the peanut butter from the outside. It'll be a little uneven. There's ways that I could do this for each of them to be exactly the same, but I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I could weigh each individual ball of peanut butter to make sure it's exactly the same amount, or I could use a tablespoon or teaspoon or something, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think this is fine. I kinda wanna try some of this mix to see if it tastes coconutty. It doesn't taste coconutty. You can't even really tell that there's coconut. They're not perfect and they're definitely not all uniform, but it's okay. So that's my peanut butter pucks. We'll see how that turns out. I have extra if I decide I hate it. So that hardened really fast. That's about how thick it is. So that's a little thick. Oh yeah, that's some thick chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. Uh-oh. I'm gonna take this peanut butter puck. And then I'm just going to cover it with a little bit more chocolate. I think I'm going to make another round. So my biggest concern right now is that the chocolate on the bottom ended up pretty thick. I didn't realize how much I was like spooning in there. And the chocolate itself does taste really coconutty because of how much coconut oil is in it. So I'm going to make another round. I'm going to try to maybe at least sweeten up the chocolate a little bit with some maple syrup. And then I'm gonna try to do a really thin layer of chocolate on the bottom because these are gonna end up being too thick. But these ones will be mine for keeping. <laughs> also, the tops are not gonna look very pretty. <laughs> I want them to be pretty smooth, so I might have to figure out a way to make the peanut butter on top be really smooth. So that's the first batch. It's not very pretty. I'm gonna brainstorm how to fix all these problems. First of all, I think the chocolate needs more syrup. That's that's the first thing. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball some syrup in there. Here, let's try that. Yeah, oh, that tastes so much better. I'm just gonna line another muffin tin and go for round two. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the bottom of these, but they need less. So I think I'm just gonna go for like half a spoonful, dribble it in and then like spread it out this way to make for like a way thinner base. Ooh, that's kind of satisfying to do. If I wasn't trying to make these so, you know, exactly like Reese's, then I wouldn't mind that the base is thick, but I, I just don't want them to, I don't want the height of them to be what gives away that they're the homemade ones more than the taste probably already will. And then you can see from the side that's like way thinner. I think I'm gonna use parchment paper instead this time to put the peanut butter on. Okay, so this parchment paper has a grid. You can kind of see I have it folded in half, but it's got lines on it. My muffin tins are roughly, they're hitting all four edges. Like, you see the whole square? It's hitting like this side, this side, this side, this side. So I think I'm gonna try to use that as a grid for my peanut butter 
pucks and that way they're all pretty much the same and then I can hopefully make a more smooth top that way. That way if I peel it off this way, the top is really flat and smooth and it doesn't, it doesn't look as ugly as the last ones did. <laughs> so I just need six. Some of these are a little bigger than others, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge for a sec. So I think we're set up for a little bit better of success with this round. Also, since the chocolate's been sitting out for a little bit, it's thickened up just a little. So I think that'll be perfect. I actually froze the peanut butter. That way I can just really easily like pull it off of the parchment and it's nice and flat. So it'll be way easier to just lay them in there. The peanut butter's melting really fast, so I can only do a couple of these at, at a time. Anyway, I'm gonna coat the ones that I just did. This one, look how perfect this looks. So I'm gonna coat that in chocolate. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a thicker top coat since the bottom one is so thin. Okay, so my peanut butter cups have been in the freezer for a little while and I'm gonna go ahead and try one before I subject my friends to trying them. The tops look so much better. They're nice and flat. You can't see all of the crazy peanut butter lumps going on in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I might have gone a little bit too far in trying to make them thin. I think now they're like way too thin. Ugh, oh well, let's give it a test. I'm gonna try to break it. It looks good in the middle. It's just super thin. Mmm. Ooh, that's really good. They do kind of melt like really quickly in my fingers, so I think I'm gonna have to just keep them frozen when I give them to my friends, so I'll just freeze all of them. That way that that's not the thing that gives it away that it's mine, but like, these taste really good. It's definitely a little bit coconutty, but it's super pleasant, so they might be able to tell right away, but I think they're really good. They're way too thin. I went too far the other way, but you know, it is what it is. And now I have um, a peanut butter cup recipe that is fairly easy once you get it nailed down. Um, I'm gonna go take care of this monstrosity of hair and get ready and head out and then we'll see if they can guess which one's mine and guess which the store-bought ones are. Okay, so I'm here now at my friend's house. I have three friends here. This is Amanda, Andrea, and Jonas. And they are going to taste test two natural peanut butter cups, Justin's and Chocolate Love, and then there's Reese's and then there's mine that you all saw me make earlier. And we're gonna see if they can guess which one is mine mostly, but what all of them are. So this is up first. Da, da, da. Uh -huh, okay. So go ahead and try the first one. <laughs> Told you it's frozen. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it might be a little hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's definitely peanut butter in it. <laughs> it's not Reese's. It's not Reese's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely not Reese's. No. I think it's, it's Justin's. I think it's yours. What is the one that wasn't Justin's? Choco Love. I think it's Choco Love. All right. But this is this, is what they're trying to do. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is Reese's. Reese's, yeah. <laughs> you can tell by the little the the big, like, crisp edges. edges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You agree, Jonas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So next up is gonna be. Ooh. These are like they're thinner. They're thin. Yeah, oh, I kind of like it. Oh, this is delicious. Oh my god. Oh, this has to be Megan's. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I think they're Megan's. I think it's uh, Justin's. One more. This. <laughs> Whoa, these ones are odd. Oh, they're hard to bite into. <laughs> the chocolate's really thick. Mm. Mm. I think this is Justin. I think these are the chocolate lovies. <laughs> I don't think these taste very good. <laughs> you better hope they're not mine then. <laughs> <laughs> well, Megan, Megan, if these are yours, you need to improve your recipe a little bit. <laughs> these are 
Chaco, whatever. Chaco, Chaco love? Chaco, 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 love. Chaco yeah. love. Yes. <laughs> you can take your blindfolds off. Okay. Okay, so the first one was Justin's, and I know you got it right. Yeah. The second one was Reese's. You all got it right. Mm -hmm. The third one was mine. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. yeah. That was we delicious. Got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one was Chocolate Love. So, Andrew, you got all of them. Yes. <laughs> you win. So, oh, yay. Anyway. The goal I'm was so good of, at this. The goal was sort of that you wouldn't be able to tell mine from the others to kind of prove that, like, the healthy version is not, like, going to be gross version. Oh, no, that was the best one. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, I think yours was the best, for yeah. sure. I think they're pretty bomb, and yeah. I never tried it before, so. I'm really yeah. glad yours wasn't the last one. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I was starting to be like, ooh, <laughs> we'll get awkward. <laughs> I tried them before I came here. I wouldn't have given them to you yeah. if they were disgusting. But anyway, all right. Well, thank you guys. Yes. Appreciate it. So that was a ton of fun. I'm back home now, but I really, really enjoyed being able to have my friends be in the video and taste test the peanut butter cups. And I'm definitely going to be making more of these types of videos where I have other people in my life do some taste tests. Um, I'm gonna call this whole little series Making Healthy and I'm really excited for, I have a lot of ideas for junk foods that I can make healthy, but if you have a favorite junk food that you would love to be able to eat guilt-free whenever you want, then let me know and maybe I can turn it into making healthy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put the peanut butter cup recipe that I use in the description and I will see you next time.